What is up everyone, or Fusionators, I'm Rickster LPs, and welcome to Mario Kart Super Circuit. I'll be doing a sort of halfway playthrough of this game on 150cc. Um, let's see, let's try out Mario. So anyways, I'll be doing this half while another friend of mine, or another member of the uh, LPMFG, uh, we'll be doing the extra tracks, so without further ado, let's try Mushroom Cup. As you can see, I already played a bit of it, just to get like the hang of uh, the controls and stuff, because I haven't played this game in a while. So, first up, what was this, Peach Circuit or something? Yeah, it was Peach Circuit, I'm guessing. I, I don't know, I, can't, I, can't, I have a bad memory. But anyways, the game plays... Um, just as similar as Super Mario Kart on the, on the SNES, but the coins and like everything, like like the whole coin system and stuff, it all basically plays the same. And if you get hit by any item, or if you get hit by just like anything in general, including carts, you lose coins. And that's really crucial because if you don't have any coins, you can spin out of control. So yeah. <clears throat> I gotta say though, this game was really, really fun back in the day. And it, it's still fun today, but. There definitely is more options like Double Dash, Mario Kart Wii, and of course Mario Kart 7. But, you know, for people that want to go back and enjoy the basics without much, like, I guess, <clears throat> much problems, I highly suggest to pick this over uh, Super Mario Kart because this also has the original tracks as well from the SNES version. So it's pretty cool. And just like that, we beat the first track. I gotta say, the computer in this game isn't really too difficult. I think the only parts the game actually gets difficult is when you play on the tracks where, like, there are a lot of tight corners. Like, I'll show you. I think Bowser's Castle is a perfect example of, uh, of a track that has a lot of tight corners. So, that is one thing to look out for. We've got a master drifting in this game, too. So, yeah. This game is heavily based on drifting because if you turn normally, you just slide off. And if you drift, your turn's actually a lot better, and you get a boost. So, that's a good thing about it. Anyways, we're on Shy Guy Beach. This is also on the Wii version. So, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool to see that. God damn it, Donkey Kong! Why'd you hit me for? But, um... Yeah, it's really... I, have, I really have nothing to say about this track. I didn't really play this a lot in the Mario Kart Wii version, nor did I even play it in this, ver uh, this version of the game either. I just played it a couple times in the GP and I never really went back into it. Definitely not one of my favorite tracks because it was a pretty bland track. I think the only thing that was going for it was the uh, was the cannon bombs that shy guys would just throw out. But yeah, that's that's basically it. And as you can see, you just if you go way too fast, you would just be sliding off like that, which sucks, of course. Also, another really neat feature that has never been seen ever again is the red shells, if you throw them back, they actually like stay there and then they detect like the next person coming behind it and like immediately gets them. That's so, that's like really cool. I, I wonder why they never brought it back. Well, I guess probably it's because it's a bit cheap because it's a really great defensive system. Uh, other than like using a green shell and holding it forever, so it's sort of like <clears throat> sort of like freaking mind bomb or something. But yeah, anyways, what was this track called? It's like DK something. I'm not paying attention to the names. I'm sorry, guys. But um, let's see. This is also one of my not so favorite tracks. There's a little shortcut in between the water there. But uh, I highly suggest you don't really do it if you're a bit new to the game. I wouldn't do it because I'm still a bit rusty. But I think I used to do that all the time as a kid. I just cut through there. I remember I did it a lot with Toad because Toad was really good on him, especially drifting too. Yeah. <clears throat> this strike is also really good for drifting. Like, it's like probably a perfect example of drifting. And I just found the water. So if you want to practice your drifting, I highly suggest playing this track because it has a lot of tight turns and also like turns where you can basically practice your drifting and how much drifting you need. And oh jeez, don't want to hit that. It's one thing I don't want to hit. That's right, sweet. 
Also, once you hit them, if anybody else touches the cart while they're spinning around, uh, they actually get hit again, so like, it sort of resets, resets or something. I don't think that was in Super Mario Kart at all. I remember they spin, but if you hit them, you lose a coin and they just stop spinning and stuff. But in this game, you don't lose any coins, they just continue spinning again. It's pretty cheap, because if you're playing multiplayer in this, like local, you can just get your friends to team, team up on one person, which is really bad. And that sort of happened to me once. We were playing, uh, I think we were playing on Rainbow Road. And what happened is that my friend had a red shell, and they all teamed up on me. Like, they all kept spinning around in circles, coming backwards. And I was just in a loop of non-stop spinning. Until I fell off the track, of course. But, yep, it sucked. Anyways, now we're on a, now we're on Bowser's Castle, which um, I should probably show you a perfect example of why uh, <clears throat> drifting, like, trying to learn this game in general is really hard because of the tight turns and those goddamn tools. <laughs> So yeah, these Bowser's Castle are probably one of the more harder tracks in this game, just because of these freaking walls and stuff, and how tight they are. So yeah, I also feel like you s you sort of slide more when you play on this track. Ah oh, man, that would have been perfect, but whatever. I'm obviously not a pro at this, but uh, I think I'm probably a decent one at this game. <clears throat> But there's, I think probably is someone better than me, like, in the whole collab. I don't really play this game too often. We could have made a perfect... No! Bowser's gonna win! Oh, whatever. Wait. Wait. <laughs> See, he spun, he spun again. So, like, that's how that mechanic works. And it sort of sucks because he got... He spun around two times and now he's in fifth place. Sucks for him, but good for me. So anyways, just like that, we came in first place. Pretty short, I must say. The cups feel a little bit short than usual, but that's what you have to expect when playing a Game Boy Advance game. <clears throat> anyways, here it is. I got my first cup in that weird-looking cheap, cheap thing, and there's only one hammer bro there. Where's your brother, dude? And I got an A rank, that's sweet! So anyways guys, thank you all for watching this part, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and look forward to the next part where we take up the flower cup. So, yeah, later everyone.